So we just left Wrightwood, uh, where we took two Neros, basically. We stayed one night. Um, it was very nice. Very nice little city. Got to meet up with lots of hikers that we've hiked with pre before. Basically, cities are great because towns are great because you get to see everyone. So it's really fun. Um, and now it's like five, four, and we are, we're only hiking two miles until camp. Basically, at the foot of uh, Mount Baden Powell that we will do tomorrow. So it's gonna be a bit snowy, but we're doing it. Snow, snow, snow. Again. Getting up to the summit of Baden Powell. It's actually okay. This is way better than Fuller Ridge. So me and Vitamin can, yeah, are taking a small break <laughs> after we just climbed that. But it's we've been basically just going right up for like two miles, and we've got one more to go until the summit. Please let this be the summit. <laughs> Vitamin, you made it! Vitamin, I guess the here's my, my gear with the hiking pole, so now we have to shotgun it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm extremely proud of myself and of us for doing that. It was the worst climb yet. We were like there yesterday, this morning. Ugh, so he's sick of the snow. The last couple of days have been quite hard. Um, it's the weather's been terrible. Like when you get ready for the PCT, you read all about like the Southern California section, and it's like, oh, how are we gonna get water? And you worry about, you know, protecting yourself from the sun and like taking breaks around midday to not be too exposed. And we're like, you know, this has like barely happened to us, basically. Uh, and we've been saying that we've actually suffered more from the cold than the heat and <laughs> Honestly the weather right now. I mean, I don't know if you can like This is it's not that terrible now, but earlier it was awful um, We're basically in, in the fog all day The nights are really <laughs> Really freezing as well. So we don't really sleep well at all um, Yeah, that's that's what's happened for the last couple days. So about one one minute after I ended the last video I got held on. Actual hail. Um, it was small. I think it just stopped. <laughs> um, camp is in two miles and I'm just dying to get there and um, have dinner and just <laughs> I don't know get into my sleeping bag and be cold all night. Yesterday was 
the weather was terrible, but today it's perfect. Um, and so we are aiming to do 24 miles today, um, which would be our biggest day, day yet. Uh, we did, we've done 11 miles before breakfast and we have 13 to go, so, but yeah, it's pretty fast, so we're going pretty fast. So I think we're going to make it, maybe have sore feet a bit, but we're going to make it. I've been walking in a cloud for like 20 minutes, so I'm freezing <laughs> and I hope that we're going to lose enough elevation so that the campsite is <laughs> not in this cloud. <laughs> is this Southern California or what? mountain lions around us um, who are doing mating calls yeah <laughs> we might die tonight <laughs> So yesterday we did manage to make it to 24 miles, 38 kilometers in a day. So it's my biggest day yet. Um, we camped pretty high, I mean, pretty high up in the mountains and we got to bed. Um, it got late, uh, late. Okay, so first of all, just an explanation, usually everyone all the hikers get in their tent around 8 and that's hiker midnight it's basically when it's dark um, hikers are in the tent and are sleeping so it was 9 um, and we started hearing uh, mountain lions their mating calls which um, if you haven't you have never heard mountain lions mating calls you should definitely look it up because it's terrifying and <laughs> it looks like women being um, like strangled or something like that anyway we hear that and we're actually hearing like two of them one on like a right right from us and one left from us and so we were like are they just like calling each other? Is it just <laughs> the females who do this or are they calling each other? And then in that case, we're in the middle of them. And and then we, so we fell asleep. Um, I was a bit freaked out. Everyone fell asleep before me. And I was hearing the wind and being a bit paranoid. But I did fall, fall asleep. And then the next day, um, Vitamin wakes up and tells us, I think that there were some something walking around the camp last night and Spice who had um, spilled some ramen noodles next to her tent was like oh guys um, all of my ramen is gone so I'm not sure if it was mountain lions who were in our camp um, <laughs> but <laughs> that was that was a fun night um, honestly hearing the mountain lions for the first time was quite an experience. I'm really happy I did. It was just a little freaky when it's, when it's night time, but we knew that mountain lions don't, you know, attack people in tents. 
and don't really come for your food so we were like kind of like let's just stay inside our tents and nothing will happen to us so that's what happened but something did come to eat um, spices <laughs> ramen noodles so maybe it was just a mouse or something but yeah anyway this is my view right now So I am making this video from Six Flags, which is um, an amusement park in the US. We're in the one in California, um, Magic Mountain, and I've always wanted to go there, so I'm really happy. It was amazing. The rides were amazing. Um, expectations, you know, were high and met. Um, so I'm really, really happy we got to go and. It was a great zero and I won't forget, like all these rides were just amazing, I'm so happy. Pacific Ocean! First time I'm getting in the Pacific Ocean from this side of the globe. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird because it's like especially fun then. The way that the best so clothes work is different than most of the I'm from France.